All right, so say we want to make this a mod. This is that basic box in Blender that everybody has seen. If you look at a, in edit mode, you'll see there is vertices, there are edges, and if it's triangulated, you'll see triangles. Normally they're not triangulated. That's an additional step to do that. But these triangles are what make up the collision for a mod. Now the game does not call vertices vertices, but instead nodes. And the edges would be considered beams and triangles are triangles. But if we turn off the triangles, and we see inside of this, there's no reinforcements. To make this have reinforcements, we would go to mesh, J beam, nodes connectors and basically what that will do is connect every node to every node reinforcing the J beam now in this case the J beam is also the mesh that's not always the case but in this case it will be so we will now go to this other video that I made in German and what we see would be the actual J beam for that cube if we were to make it it would consist of nodes triangles and beams here is an illustration in real life of what those connectors look like the reinforcements where I used wires to show now if these did not have these wires what would happen over time, and I should say fairly quickly, is that your J-beam will collapse. Just like this. So the next video, I will go into the basic file structures that we will need to start our J-Beam with our info file, our mod folder, what goes in our mod folder, and then I'll be able to uh, get you started with that process. And I will include the files needed for you to have alongside you to follow along.